We're here high up in the lower tier of the stands of the Siemens Arena in Vilnius, Lithuania, on a big day for Great Britain. Nine straight defeats in World Championship and Olympic qualification action. So they went into the game against the team from Romania looking for their first win in 10. Yesterday, of course, they were beaten 4-0 by Croatia and there were wins on day one for the side. Lithuania, of course, the host, and Poland, a strongly fancied team here. Well, the great news is that GB won by four goals to one. A cracking performance from Doug Christensen's side. Goals from four different goal scorers and a great performance right from the back with Ben Bounds, who started all the way through the defence and through to the forwards. Well, sit back and enjoy the best moments of the day. Welcome to the Siemens Arena in Vilnius, Lithuania. Game two for GB. It's moments away. GB against Romania. 1 p.m. here in Lithuania. Thank you for joining us on Bank Holiday Monday. And as I say, not long now for GB to get their second game at the World Championship Division 1B underway. Ben Baum starting this afternoon. Yeah, it's great for Ben. Um, he'll be really excited about this. He's got family here in the arena to watch the game. And uh, we see a great shot of him on our, on our video monitor here. And uh, a big moment for him. He'll be very, very keen to backstop GB to a win. Basically, it's moments away now from face off as the officials come onto the ice. And then they're straight away followed by Great Britain let out a proud moment for Ben Bounds, followed by Clark and Hewitt. And then the rest of the team just skate on and go to our far side on our right hand side. GB in blue today. And they're followed by Romania in white. They'll come straight on. Even just halfway through the second period. Dow into the offensive zone, looks up, man driving the net, wasn't far away. It's a nice play, nice play, need to keep this going. Matty Davis goes left-hand side. Keep moving, Matty, keep moving, be difficult. Shields cuts inside, shoots from distance and puts it wide, needs to get that on target. Shields has come all the way from left to right, I don't oh, think yeah. GB need him. There's former Dingle Dangles on the doorstep, Matty Davis isn't far away. Living a charm life, the goalie, but he's stopping everything thrown at him. Good power play. GB need to make the most of this. Just ben a minute Davis. to go. Really dominant in this power play. Lots of good chances. Time ash. Time ash. Slip past that rush. Lakovic. Lakovic looks up. Once more for O'Connor. Shields. O'Connor shoots. It's charged down by Romania. Good power play. Come on, GB. O'Connor is charged down, but then steps inside and stays in possession. Blind backhand pass to Tate Works. Now for Lakovic, right hand side. Man opens up in the back door, and GB have finally scored. And the goal has gone in, and it is Ben Davis who scores. And GB have their goal. 7.15 to go in period two. It's GB1 Romania now. Chris, you're going to pick my lottery numbers this week. Good call there. It was coming on the power play. That was probably the best power play that GB have had in this, this tournament so far. It's off inside the Romanian zone. Can GB win this? Get another shot away, and it's a lovely win. Back to David Phillips, who shoots. Good save again. Danny Myers feeds Garside, drives the net. Jonathan Phillips puts it in. What a great move there. Garside, lovely feed, dropping the puck back. Jonathan Phillips following in and beats Catherine Oy. That's the super goal, just what we needed. Follow up the first one with a quick second one. And uh, GB take a 2 nothing lead. Lovely little drop back from Mark Garside. And there's Jonathan Phillips to just tuck it away and double GB's lead. Just what the doctor ordered. Oh, lovely play, the defenseman play, where he steps in, it was Richardson. It's going to come to the back door, Tate, and Tate scored! Oh, no, he's washed it away. I thought it hit the back of the net and went in, it may have hit the post. Goal line technology, please. Did I think that cross the line? I have to say, I don't think it did cross the line. Um, the 
cleared it off pretty quickly. The referee was right on the spot. He was in a good position. And he's going over to the bench now. Time oh, to get the bench. Not got it, Andy. Look at, look at it rolling across the red light. He's going to have a quick look. He has the opportunity here to do a video review. But uh, it won't take long to look at that one. So anyway, yeah, clarifies no goal. And everybody can just kind of get on. TV have it right outside. Robert Farmer, O'Connor, O'Connor jumps in. Great move, O'Connor shoots, it's loose, and there's a couple of players there, and I think it's going to be a goal, and it's pushed over the line. Well, he's so good on the power play, Ben O'Connor, and he's got an absolute bullet of a shot. I just walked in, got really close, and fired an extra set at the keeper. He couldn't hold it, and just as the coaching staff have been saying during the, uh, the first couple of breaks... Shields. Oh, it was Shields at the back post. Yeah, we're just seeing that again. Bullet from O'Connor, blocked by the keeper, and it just bubbles out, and Colin Shields tucks it away. That's 3-0 to GB. He's looking pretty happy. Into the final minute now. It is Lee who will just touch it off. Weaver. Lovely play, lovely play from Stephen. Dangerous pass from Weaver. It's on the doorstep. And the shutout is broken, and Romania score, and they get a goal, and Ben Bounds was 44.7 seconds away, and Romania get the goal, it's 3-1. 30 so seconds. Garside drives in behind the net. He goes for the wraparound, oh, and Garside scores! It goes under the net, minder. He'll see that as a mistake, but it doesn't matter, and Garside won't care. 26.3 to go. It's a three-goal spread once more. GB4, Romania 1. Mark, congratulations. I've just been down by the room. Everyone's really excited. It must be a thrill to finally get underway in this tournament. Yeah, I mean, if you look back at our competitive games, we haven't won in a while, so that's the first one we've had. And it was good to get that first goal and finally get some confidence in us. Yeah, it was the uh, first one in, in 10, I think, in, in World Championship and Olympic qualifiers. But you could see when the, the goal went in, the confidence just oozed out of the side. Yeah, I mean, we just had to sort of get out of that mental thing that we were in there for 10 games. We, we lost a lot of games, and you, you lose a lot of confidence when that happens. But once we got that goal there, I mean, yesterday we, we had a lot of chances and we dominated the game. Today, we came in, done the same thing, but this time we scored. And from then on in, it was, it was good for us. Do you think you did much different? Well, you scored goals tonight, but you know, as a team, was there much more that you did different to the night before? I think we just sort of, when we went in there 0-0 zero, zero at first period, we just kept going, kept to, the, kept to the plan, you know, and finally the goal came, and then from then on, we were a much more confident team after that. What can you do for the rest of the tournament? Because now you've got that win, you, at the moment, as we speak, you're on three points, level with the teams from yesterday. How can you go now in this tournament, do you think? Well, we've just got to take each game at a time, you know, and, uh, you know, with Lithuania, the home team on Wednesday, so we've just got to concentrate on them and pick up a result there, hopefully a win, and then just keep carrying the momentum forward. Well, Doug, first win of the tournament. That was an impressive performance by your side this afternoon. Yeah, we played well. Um, we had the energy uh, and the commitment to do the things that were necessary. I thought that, um, you know, Mark Arside did a really good job tonight with Ashley Tate and, and David Clark. and. That line carried the play, um, but I thought Colin Shields played really well. Um, it's unfortunate to give up a goal as late as we did to wreck the shutout for Bouncy, but um, a win's a win, we'll take it. Now, obviously, you move on to the hosts. Did you tell them to do much different today from yesterday? No, we actually, um, yesterday we lost, but overall, um, we didn't play well enough to win, but there's a lot of good things that we did. And there are a lot of things that we practiced, a lot of things that we should be confident in. And it was really a matter of going out and executing. And today, uh, the power play scores two goals. Um, the penalty kill did a good job again. And one of the things that's crucial for us going forward is staying out of the box. And we did a great job of that yesterday. We did a great job of it today. And it was really just a matter of bearing our chances. Because had we done that yesterday, it might have been a different result. We mentioned in yesterday's in interview confidence. And we talked about the confidence in Japan that was maybe lacking at more recent tournaments. You saw that confidence just ooze out of the boys after that first goal came. Yeah, I think that that's one of the real issues, you know. Um, we had our Olympic qualifiers in, in Latvia uh, where we didn't do as well. In Budapest, same thing. And, 
you know, that feeling of, oh boy, maybe we, here we go again. Um, but today, we got that first goal, never looked back, and I think that was really important for us. A couple of injuries in the camp, Matthew Myers and then a, a lost tooth, I think, for Phil Hill. First of all, Matthew, is he going to be okay at some stage in the tournament, do you think? I, I haven't spoken to the doctors, but I would think so. And uh, Phil Hill, I think he'll be just fine. Yeah, just makes him better looking, I guess. Um, moving on now to, 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 to what's next for, for GB. It's just important to, to build your way back into the tournament now, I guess, with a game against Lithuania coming up in a couple of days. Well, as I said yesterday, our goals don't change. Um, there's a lot of things that can happen. Obviously, if Croatia goes 5-0, and we're in trouble. Um, but uh, there's a lot of hockey to be played by the other teams. We just have to worry about ourselves. We've got the host on Wednesday night, and uh, there's no question in my mind that that's going to be a very difficult game. Big crowd. Uh, and, a, and a team that's obviously got a surefire NHL or a Dana Subris, and that's a player that we're going to have to contend with, but that's a fun challenge for our guys. Uh, we'll see how we heal. We'll see how we uh, um, come back, but I am very confident that the team will bounce back and uh, be even better than we were today. Well, Ben Davis, congratulations. How does everyone feel after that game? Yeah, I think uh, it's sure just to get our first uh, win under the belt today. Um, yeah, last night was, uh, or yesterday was a bit disappointing, but we... We felt we played a lot better than the other team. It just obviously didn't go our way. And uh, nothing really changes. We just uh, go back and all we have three more wins to get. And uh, our gold medal, hopefully. You could feel the momentum building, couldn't you, before that first goal? Yeah, definitely. We, again, we were, we were all over. We were just waiting for the, the first goal. And this, we got one, we got two and three. So, so yeah, we were just uh, waiting for it. And your first goal at international world championship level, is that something very special, your treasure? Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. Um, you only get one chance to get one, I think. And uh, yeah, I felt a bit schmelty, but yeah, I don't want to laugh to you.